Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Flashback SBC. Today we are doing Flashback Ogbonna uh, and a Flashback Ogbonna celebrating his 2017-2018 season. As you can see, his face stats don't look too bad. 87 pace, which is actually pretty good for a centre-back. Uh, 45 shot, 77 passing, 82 dribbling, 89 defence and 88 physicality. Uh, as you know, work rate's medium, medium, 6 foot 3, which is pretty decent. When you get to his in-game stats, he has some very good stats and then there's... a mm, it looks decent. I mean, 70 on acceleration is not the best, really. You need more acceleration than you do sprint speed, really, for a centre-back. But it depends on where you're running your centre-backs. So maybe from a corner and coming the other way, then obviously sprint speed's bad. Because he does have 93 sprint speed. So, you know, it's a bit of a weird one, that is. 79 acceleration is not the best, but 93 sprint speed is amazing. So, you know, a bit of a weird one. Um, ignore shooting stats... Uh, passing stats 66 vision a mm, little bit on the low crossing doesn't matter free kick accuracy doesn't matter his short passing and long passing is decent 90 like short passing 88 uh, long passing curve doesn't matter uh, dribbling stats agility 73 and balance is 72 obviously 6 foot 3 is n it's not bad it's not bad it's not terrible but it's not bad 95, 95 reactions which is really good uh, 80 ball control a mm, little bit on the low side uh, 83 dribbling with 94 composure that's decent Defending stats are all mad over the over the top. Nine inception, eight does eight head and accuracy is eighty six. Defense awareness is eighty five. I thought it'd be a bit higher. Uh, Ninety one stand tackle, ninety slide tackle, so they're pretty decent. Then his physicality stats eighty eight jumping. So with the jumping and head and accuracy, he probably will score a few goals with headers. I wouldn't advise doing it at the moment because of the way uh, heading breaks the game. Uh, Seventy four stamina, not bad. It's not the best, but. It's so, alright. 95 strength, which is good, and 85 aggression, which is good as well. So there is some really good stats, and there is some mess stats. And the, the weird thing is, is the price. So there's three SBCs, 285s, and an 86 one. Uh, we'll start with the Italian SBC. Uh, before we start this, guys, don't forget these are SBC. Uh, these are our foot bin prices at the point of time doing this SBC. Prices will fluctuate. Bids and snipes are always cheaper. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it, really. Uh, as you can see, for the Italian squad, requirements you need one Italian player. Uh, as you can see, I have two. So I've got uh, Roman Ugly and Sirigu. You can use Asabi as well, but I'll let you know about that. Uh, team over and over 85. We are bang on 85. Can't lower anyone else. Uh, team chemistry of 75. If you take the two loyal players off, we're on 77. So you're a little bit over. You could probably get away with moving around one player, but not by too much. And 11 players. Squad. As you can see, mainly Italian league, apart from what you'll see Onana in every SBC because he's ridiculously cheap. And then uh, Visca as well because he links with the Bosnian connection. So uh, we'll start with Sirigu. As I said, Sirigu at this point in time doing this SBC was 2.8k. Uh, the fridge, or the fridge, but I call him the fridge because I, I like a good fridge. 5.2k. Uh, Godin is 38k. Uh, his price has been fluctuating a bit, so just bear that in mind. Uh, Roman Ugly is 2k. Again, you can use Roman Ugly or Asabi. Uh, Milik is the cheapest 83 rated card in the um, in Serie A, so he's a K at the moment, so just use the cheapest one. You might have an untradeable one, just throw him in there. Uh, Lucas Levius, 4.1K. Uh, Pjanic is 20.5K, another card that's been fluctuating, you'll see later on. Uh, Luis Alberto is uh, 3.2K. Uh, Visca is only 1.6K, again, another card that's been fluctuating. Um, Jekko's 2K, and Onana, what's been aimed, is 5.4K. So at the point of doing this SBC, it was 85.8k, which is not too bad, 85.8. Uh, Prime Explorers pack, which is a 20k pack. Next, we get into the Premier League one. Uh, so requirements of this one, you need one Premier League player. As you can see, I have 84 rated. Mzuzuz, the fagaz. Team over and over 85, we're bang on 85, can't lower anyone else. Uh, team chemistry of 75, minus, minus Onana's one. We're bang on 75, no position changes or loyalty. And 11 players in the squad. So as you can see, I have begun Bundesliga because, well, Bundesliga is a nice, cheap way to go. Wait there, I wonder if that might make a difference. Oh, it does, yay! It do not really make a difference, so I've got loyalty, yeah, yeah. Uh, so when I met you in the summer, we ain't going to see that because of the, you know, what's going on. Uh, 1.7k. Onana, what's been out? 5.4k. Uh, Hormones is 26.5k. Uh, Akanji is 4.5, so do bear that in mind. You will pay quite a bit for him. Uh, Galaxy, or I call him Galaxy, no, Glasky, I think it's pronounced, uh, is 7.3k. Uh, Javi Martinez is only 3k at this point in time. Ozil, 2.9k, which is a bargain. Uh, Goretzka, you pay a bit more, is 4.5. Uh, Brand is only 3.4, which is cheap. Uh, Perisic, 
You always pay more for left mids and right mids. He's 5.8k. And then Werner the Burner is 19,000 coins as well. Uh, again, to do this one, slightly cheaper than the first SBC at 84k. Um, you get a small red gold players pack, which is a 25k pack, which isn't too bad. And then we get into the expensive one, which is about right. Uh, so requirements for the 86 rated one, you need uh, one team of the week or team of the week moments. So Funds Muri at the moment is the cheapest 84 team of the week moments card. If you've got a team of the week, just shove him in there. It doesn't matter who it is as long as it's the cheapest one uh, or untradeable, as long as it's 84 rated. Uh, team over and over 86, we're bang on 86, can't lower anyone else. Uh, team chemistry of 70, minus all three of the players that are on loyalty, we are bang on 70. No position changes or loyalty, and 11 players in squad. I couldn't find another cheaper way of doing this, um, other than, I was going to, like, Mertens is one of the cheapest 87 ratings that does link with this team. Visca is still one of the cheapest players around, so yeah. Handanovic, 39.25k, these have finally started coming back down, so this is why the yeah, able to put them in teams, but they're still quite expensive. Oh, Nana, again, what's me now? 5.4k. Uh, the Fridge is 5.2k. Uh, Goldin is 42k. So, as you can see, his price is fluctuating a bit. So, it's gone from 38 to 42k. As I said, footprint price has changed quite quickly, but it's good to see. Uh, Funds Muri is 13.75, uh, the cheapest one on the market, as I said. Uh, the cheapest 84 rated team of the week or team of the week moments. Um, Pjanic is 2k, again another card that's been moving around. Uh, Lucas Levia is 4.1k. Um, wait, what? What have I done there? No, Pjanic is 24k. Why did I think that was this guy? Uh, <laughs> Pjanic is 24k, again another card that's been fluctuating quite a bit. Uh, Lucas Levy is 4.1k. Visca is 2k, 2k, another card that's been fluctuating a bit because obviously it's quite useful using the uh, Bosnian connection. Uh, Mertens is like one of the cheapest 87 rated at 26.5k. Uh, Jekko is 2k, again to link with the others. And then Martinez is literally the cheapest 84 rated striker at 1.7k. Uh, 165.9k. Mm, I don't think you, I, I can't see you getting done any cheaper than this. A rare and players pack, which is a 30k pack, which is nice to see. Uh, so to do Mr. Ogbonna, as I said, he does have some really good stats, but he is 335k minimum. I mean, obviously, as I said, bids and stops will help. I mean, if I was you, I'd suggest. Trying to get him for done less than 300k. I don't, you get 75k's worth of packs, but I mean, I don't know how much tradable Van Dyke is now. But if I had to choose between me and I'm sure tradable Van Dyke is nowhere near 300k. Um, I'd still go for Van Dyke. His card's decent, don't get me wrong, but medium, medium work rates are meh. The acceleration is a bit. We don't know if he's any good. We don't know if he's a meta card for a defensive centre back. We know Van Dyke is. So, I mean, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, are you going to do him? Do you think he's worth it? It's up to you guys. Uh, but hopefully I saved you some time and some money. Uh, we don't like giving any money. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does have the video in the channel. Obviously, if you want to see more SBCs like this, though, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have that notification bell on as well so you can keep up to date as soon as I've loaded these. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video stream. Take it easy and obviously, peace.